Hey there, I'm Renee and I'm popping in to just share a little reason why I use essential oils in my yoga and meditation practice. So long story short, I'm a long time yogi, 25 plus years. I've been teaching yoga. Oh gosh, now, what is it? I have to do the math. 13 years, I think. And oh, hello. Hey, Adelita. Thanks for being here. So but also i struggled with meditation for a long long time and i used to think back in the day one day one day i'll get up at 4 a.m and i will meditate for an hour before i begin my day well i wake up at 4 a.m but as a busy working mom i don't do not meditate for a whole hour but i have to say a couple years ago i started a consistent meditation practice using my essential oils so how did that help me? Actually, I was going through a challenging time. There was a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety and worry. I was going through some health challenges and I didn't quite know what was happening. I'm healthy, I'm well, but during that time, every morning I would wake up with this feeling of what's gonna happen? So I knew I needed to do something to feel more grounded through that time. And we're all kind of living in this uncertainty. <laughs> It's always this is normal uncertainty, but there's a heightened energy of that around you know around this time that we're all going through. So what I started doing was using my essential oils. I already used them, I already had them and enjoyed them, but I used them with consistency because I knew they really helped me quickly get into the present moment. And so our sense of smell is so connected to um, to our emotions, to our memories. And when you smell something, like say you have a memory of walking through a flower field and when you go back and maybe you smell that same flower, it'll quickly take you back to that same memory. Well, when I use my, this is Serenity blend, it's a lavender blend, and I take a breath, it's like a quick shift. Okay, I'm here, I'm, I'm in the present moment. We can use our five, five senses in that way. And then, there's a quick shift into an emotional energy. So when I use lavender, instant calm. When I use peppermint, instant like better breathing, awake, alert, I'm here. And when I use oils like this one, Siberian fir comes from trees, there's a, a grounding, a grounding energy. And even for a breath, even for a moment, it can be so hel helpful to go from spinning mind uh, swirling energy in the body into I'm here I'm present and so you can use your oils or I use my oils again and again and again as a way to quickly come back present moment being here with my breath with my body and then over time it becomes a little easier to access that that presence again and again and when I use the same oil throughout the day, throughout the week. It can be a really helpful um, tool to quickly re remember and reconnect with the intention that I set around that oil. So in my yoga community, I have an online yoga membership. In my yoga community, every week we have an oil of the week and it ties into the theme of the week. Here's my oil. What are we using? We're, this week we're, we're focusing on getting grounded, root chakra, feeling centered and supported. And so I invite my students to use an essential oil that comes from trees. Siberian fir, frankincense, sandalwood are all amazing options. And I've been using this one, which is a beautiful blend. It's called Northern Escape. It has several trees, super woodsy. And so I can you know, do, use it in my practice at the beginning and then at the end. And then when I come back throughout the day, say I'm working on the computer and I'm starting to feel lots of swirling thoughts and overactive mind and too much energy, I can pause, take a breath, use my oil to come into the here and now and quickly remember the feeling, the energy um, that this aroma offers, but also from what I experienced when I incorporated it in my yoga practice. So. Honestly, I use essential oils to support my mindfulness practices because they're super helpful tools. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm like instantly into, you know, zen mode for the rest of the day, 
but these are tools I can keep in my back pocket, <laughs> in my purse. I like to keep them at my desk so that when I need them, I can again um, take care of myself and teach my daughter to do the same. And the, you know, we all need tools. You know, sometimes it's taking a walk, getting a fresh air, getting some fresh air. Sometimes it means something different, but um, these are helpful tools to help me feel a little more grounded, a little more calm, and a little more okay when, you know, we're living through very uncertain times. So.